Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Zombie Side. This is my review of the special guest Carl Critchlow's the um, well survivors and necromancer box. Yes, that's right. You get three survivors and one necromancer instead of having four survivors. So let's take a look inside this box, shall we? So we'll start off with Thrud, and uh, well, he has Barbarian. Okay, that's uh, not so bad to start. Uh, gets the one action, of course. In orange, Bloodlust Melee uh, or Super Strength. Mm, I would probably go with Super Strength just in case, you know, uh, some weapons you just might not find weapons that have. Uh, Two damage to deal with the fatties, but then again, with super strength, you can also deal with uh, abominations apart from the troll. Uh, with the red, you get either one free melee action, not bad, not bad, plus one dice roll melee or shove. Oh, each of these are very, very good. Shove, especially in red, uh, I mean, when it comes down to red, you're going to be swamped but with the plus one dice rolls uh, might be um, the best choice right there but of course don't forget shove is still a good well skill to have he can actually hold an axe in the body slot and here is his model uh, it's a big based model uh, look at that tiny little head looks hilarious but still uh, it's not not really all that bad, you know. Not bad. Still weirded out with the small tiny head. Our next survivor is Persephone. She has plus one dice roll for melee, which isn't actually uh, a bad start, really. Maybe like give her a hammer, she can hit some freeze. It's good. Uh, so we've got the plus one action. Okay, so an orange get either the Plus one free melee action, which is not bad. And bloodlust combat. Bloodlust combat. That's actually really good. But then again, either of those two are good. It, would, it all depends on, on, I guess, on the kind of quest that you're going for. Uh, either one's a, a, a good one. Right, and the reds. Plus one dying combat can't go wrong with that it says combat so you know melee uh, range magic kind of thing that's good plus one free melee action that's actually uh, not not bad especially we have it on orange as well and uh, on a roll of a six plus one die in melee I wouldn't really bother with that one unless you have something like a like a great sword some, something silly like that uh, the more dice, the more chances of rolling a six. So I would probably ignore that one. She can hold a bastard sword in her body slot. Well, that's uh, quite nice. And her model is quite simple. Uh, it's a normal size model. I say normal because it's like uh, the two other survivors. If you already seen Thrud, he's quite big. The next one's quite big as well. So uh, yeah, you know, she's just like. Chilling around going, yeah, yeah, I've got this. Yeah, I quite like the model, quite nice. We come to our last survivor, Black Current. So, he starts off with plus one damage to melee, which is really awesome. Especially uh, if you don't actually give him a hammer, he can actually deal with fatties. So, you know, more hammers to uh, go around the survivors. So, we have... Uh, Plus one dice roll to melee, which is really good. Shove in orange, it's uh, also really good. And in the red, we have plus one free combat action, it's really good. Iron hide, uh, uh, so so. Reaper melee, I'm not really too keen on Reaper, but it is in the red, so perhaps it's not so bad. But I would probably go for the plus one free combat action more than the other two. In his body slot, he can hold a great sword. Oh, that's quite interesting. Quite big. It's a big base model. Holding a sword all the way up. With a, a, a vulture. 
on his uh, horn helmet, which is weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, not, not that bad. Uh, I guess his influence really all about the uh, Chaos from Warhammer, the Chaos Warrior. So, yeah, okay, it's not bad. And so I keep saying, and lo, he loft his sword upon high and got struck by lightning. Yeah, don't raise your weapons high above in the sky if it's thunderstorming. The game comes with two big bases, which is a bright orange one and a dark blue one, just for thread and black current, which is always nice. Got to have them. Come to the Necromancer, to me Koopa, which is a play on words of the uh, our uh, comedian magician Tommy Cooper. Oh, anyway, let's see what he actually does. So, normal necromancer rules, of course, plus spawns with a standard abomination. If none are available, extra activation for all standard abominations. Hmm, okay. Uh, it, it does state standard abomination, so not the uh, boss's uh, abomination, like the abomination and all that stuff. Uh, if you have two standard abominations then uh, well if one's on the board you have no one spare well, there you have it uh, unless you're not using more than one here is his model it is grey because he is a necromancer that's uh, try to see exactly what, what he would look like on his car so uh, looks quite good uh, looks really nice as a necromancer I like so there you have it, that was the zombie side, a special guest, Carl Critchlow's uh, Survivors and Necromancer box. What do I think of this? I think it's a good deal because you get an of Necromancer in it. Uh, and the heroes aren't all that bad, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, good, good thing about this is literally having another Necromancer and more Survivors. That's always a nice idea. The downside is that I think that the uh, production run on this has completely stopped and they're not making any more of this. So if you do actually find this a good price and you love this game like I do, <laughs> I would recommend picking it up before uh, they raise the price or, or anyone trying to sell this at a very high price, ridiculous price. I, I have seen uh, this for 60 to £80, pounds. and no, I did not get it at £60, pounds. I got it a lot more cheaper than that. I There, there is actually the uh, new Kickstarter for Zombicide Green Horde. I have no idea if they're going to redo these. If they do, that's great. Uh, if they don't, then, like I said, if you find this at a reasonable price, picks up. Otherwise, yeah, you don't really need it. You could find others. It's just more of a shame because it does actually come with another necromancer. So I would rate this. Uh, well, the heroes are pretty decent, I guess. Uh, the necromancer, yeah, again. I uh, I mean yes, thank you very much. Uh, I would actually give this one a seven out of ten. Uh, like I said, the, the 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 survivors are decent. I I don't know about them being wow. They are uh, a, a must. Uh, and and the next one, so wow. Uh, spawns a standard abomination. It's like... <sighs> well, anyway, there you have it. Uh, thank you very much. Until next time, bye.